Now, we're happy that Brian McCann can join us right now, yeah. who is arguably the, the MVP of the Yankees, the way he's been playing. Uh, Brian, it's Michael and Don. First off, are, is, this a, is this a rainout that helps the Yankees or hurts you guys? I don't think it does either. I think, uh, you know, everyone's looking forward to this series, and, um, you know, I'm kind of bummed out. I wanted to, uh, to, 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 I was looking forward to this game, and, uh, we, you know, but at the same time, we, we get to rest our bodies a little bit longer. No, regular doubleheader as opposed to day night. How does that affect a player? Uh, for me, I know, I know um, as a catcher, I'm only going to play one of them, which kind of, uh, you know, I, I want to play all the games this series. So, you know, push, pushing that back for me, you know, I'm not, I'm not too happy about. But uh, it's just what happens. The, the, you can't really dictate the weather. And, um, you know, as players, I think we like to play them back-to-back instead of the, the one in the morning and then uh, mm. sitting around all day and, and then playing. Another. The day nights for me are, are no good. All right. Now, let's look at the positive angle, Brian. This gives it. this gives Dellen Batances and Andrew Miller right. a third straight day off. I guess that can't hurt. No, that that's huge. Getting Guardy another day uh, w- w- with his injuries huge. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the positives. The, those are the positives. Um, you know, those guys have thrown a lot of meaningful innings this year, and uh, you know, for them to get three days off this time of year is rare. And uh, so we'll be ready to roll um, tomorrow. You know, it's kind of feast or famine with the offense. It seems largely it comes from the home run, which could be a positive or a negative. How do you feel about this team offensively going forward here for the rest of the regular season and if you're fortunate enough to get to the playoffs? Yeah, I, th- I think if you look at our, our season as a whole, we've our offense has, has been great. I mean, over over however many, you know, 140 games that we've played, um, we've had stretches where we've been dominant and we've had stretches where we've been dominated. So, uh we have a great offense, and it's going to be hard to get through our lineup four times. I've been saying that all year. And, uh, you know, when we got guys clicking, when, when guys are on base, um, and then the middle of the order comes up, um, good things are happening. And uh, Stephen Drew's at the bottom of the order with 17, 18 home runs. Didi Gregorius is swinging the bat as hot, hot as anybody in our lineup. So um, Greg Bird's won us a bunch of games already. Um, he's won, I think he's won us three games single-handedly. So, um we, we, we like where we're at offensively. How disappointing was losing two out of three to the O's where, where the offense kind of disappeared for those two games? I mean, yeah, any, you, anytime you lose a game right now, it's disappointing. So, you know, you want to win series and you want to uh, play good baseball. And, you know, we, we didn't play great baseball for, for those couple of days. And, you know, but, but I, for me, it's, it's going to come down to the seven games we play the, the Blue Jays and uh, we need to win. Fans are excited about Severino. You've gotten a chance to see him here. Do you think he is ready to pitch big games for this team down the stretch? Yes, yes. This guy is uh, so impressive watching him. He's he's 21 years old, and, and you know it, it almost looks like he's been waiting his whole life for, for the moment to let everybody let everybody else see what he already knew. And he's uh, he belongs up here. He, he knows he does, and he's just he's proven it time in and time out. Every time he takes the ball, and it, it's nice to see. Now, Brian, I know you're a humble guy, and, and when you had an interview with Meredith Morakovitz on the field the other day, you said that Dellen is probably the MVP. A lot of people think you are. How happy are you with the season that you're having? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm very happy. Um, you know, I feel, uh, you know, learning the league it has helped me out a lot. Seeing these pitchers for a third and fourth time has really helped me, and uh you know, the the more you, you see guys hitting, the, the, the better you're going to be. So I think... uh that's really helped me offensively this year. Also, you've been unbelievable behind the plate, throwing out base runners. And how about giving a little love to a guy who probably doesn't get it much? You've been working with Gary Tucker uh, over the last couple of years. How much has he meant to you, and how much uh, are you thrilled with the way you're throwing this year? Yeah, I, I, when I my first eight years, I, I think I was just around 20 percent, and I just thought that's who I was. And um, you know, I, I wouldn't get any better. I've been I, I'm only getting older, and I felt like that's just who I was as a catcher. And when I came here, I, I've never had a coach coach me like he has i mean we 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 from the first day of spring training to now we we stick to a routine he's he, you know he demands perfection and it's uh you know he he's really brought the best out of me behind the plate and he he changed my footwork he changed my release point on my throws um i used to throw a lot of balls into center field and you know my footwork was a lot different and he shortened that up he shortened my arm up and uh you know i i never i never thought that i, I would I, ever be able to throw um, this good. 
Brian, be honest. Did you think there was any possibility that on September 10th, Alex Rodriguez would have 30 home runs? I don't put anything past the guy that, that that that's had the career he's had. So, and then you know now now that I've been his teammate and I get to watch him go about his business every day. It's uh, he sticks to a routine. He 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 he's probably the hardest working uh, hitter I've ever been around. And uh, when you watch his swing from afar, it, it's just he doesn't have any flaws. And when his timing's right. Um, he swings his strikes, and and when the ball when he has to uh, barrel the bat, it it goes a long way. So, n- n- nothing surprises me with with um, elite athletes. We're talking with Brian McCann, the Yankee catcher. Now, Brian, before we let you go again, because you know you know me, I'm a I'm a positive guy. I'm going to give Absolutely. you another positive about the rain out. You give get to watch Patriot Steelers. Right. I need Ben Roethlisberger to go for about three twenty with three touches. Can Is he on your tonight? fantasy team? Yeah, absolutely. Fourth, fourth round pick, a little bit of a reach, but I need that to happen. Now, didn't you tell me you were thinking about going Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, I passed on him with C.J. Oh, Anderson. Oh, no! Why? I oh. Yeah, I took C.J. Anderson. I got C.J. Oh. Anderson, Matt Forte. First two Wow. Play. That ain't bad. And you Would got you Roethlisberger in the fourth round. Yeah. Yeah. You like it or not like it? Uh, and I got DeAndre Hopkins in my third rounder. Well, I guess Brutal. if you don't value quarterbacks that high, I guess in your league, right? Because Rodgers is the is probably the best quarterback in the league, right? Right. I just felt like I got I got some last minute information and needed to go running back, running back. Wow, it's probably going to cost me the championship. But that, that's a great we'll, two we'll back situation, though. No, I mean, because, Forte and C.J. Anderson, guys, yeah. that's a terrific that's a two. Yeah, that's a great two back situation. How about Hopkins as your number one receiver, Brian? But yeah, that's a little, yeah, a little, little, that's, that, little, that's a reach. Yeah, a little shaky. But but the, to get Big Ben <laughs> as your quarterback with those two running backs, I'd be I'd be feeling really good about you that. You know what? You guys are unbelievable. The guy's nice enough after a rainout to come on the show and you're ripping his, his fantasy. <laughs> right, I know. I just I I just said that a lot of leagues are different. If, if you value quarterbacks high in your league, then I think Aaron Rodgers would be a mistake. But maybe running back is more valued so, in his league. It changes. So, so that makes this game even better that it's rained out. Now you get to see your quarterback right. playing the first game. Yeah, we we, we need big, thing, big things tonight. And I took the Seahawks defense with a reach in the ninth round, which everybody was getting on me. But, now, you know now what I mean? Th- this league, is this among Yankees or just among yeah. some of your buddies outside of baseball? The Yankees team. Oh, wow. Who's the nice. best player, Brian? The best fantasy player in the Yankees league? Uh, I would say Adam Warren or Batances. One really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're, all, they're, all, they're always talking fantasy. All right, they're so all... just out of curiosity, who was the number one pick in the draft then? Do you remember? Um... I think it's Adrian Peterson, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he's really? got a lot of love in fantasy. People think he's going to have a monster year. Yeah. And what player yeah. had the first pick? That I can't remember. I cannot remember that. He only cares about his picks. That's all. Yeah. I can't remember that one. <laughs> well, good luck with Roethlisberger tonight. Good luck tomorrow. And thanks for popping on with us. We Thank always appreciate it, Thank you guys very much Brian. for having me. Thanks.